Hello everyone, this is Goosebumps Godzilla, and today I'm going to be talking about the 28th Goosebumps book from the original series, The Cuckoo Clock of Doom, and basically how the main antagonist sort of of the story, Tear the Terrible, is the uh, basically the person who caused the events of The Cuckoo Clock of Doom to happen. And so anyway guys, there will be spoilers in this video for one Goosebumps book, really, and that is The Cuckoo Clock of Doom, the 28th Goosebumps book of the original series, as I said before. Also, I'm sort of going to be minor spoiling uh, two Goosebumps games, actually, and that is Goosebumps Night of Scares and uh, Goosebumps the game, uh, you know, the video game, not the board game. Um, basically, those are two games I'm going to be spoiling, but again, very minor spoilers for that. Uh, just very small details that happen in the story, nothing really huge. So I won't really count that as a huge spoiler, it's really just a minor spoiler. So really, if you haven't read The Cuckoo Clock of Doom, then uh, you probably shouldn't watch this video, but if you have, then you should be alright. And so with spoilers out of the way, let's continue on to the main topic of this video, and that is figuring out how Terror the Terrible caused the events of The Cuckoo Clock of Doom to happen. And so, pretty much in the book to The Cuckoo Clock of Doom, though, uh, we are introduced to our main protagonist, and that is Michael Webster. And so basically, at the beginning of the story, he is just talking really about his parents, or not his parents, but mainly his sister, uh, and her name's Tara Webster, otherwise known as Tara the Terrible. And basically, he's just talking about all the mean stuff she's done to him all throughout his life. Like one time, she caused him to get beat up by some kid, and... and the most important one that he talks about the most is at his birthday party in which um, she really embarrassed him throughout the party, destroyed his birthday present that he got, and uh, also when he was carrying the cake in, she tripped him and he fell with his face on the cake and all that stuff, so he really doesn't like her, and she's basically just constantly getting him in trouble all throughout the story, or at least the first part of the story. And even as the book begins, she gets in trouble again with his parents and everything like that. And so, we're just in the book. It's really just establishing how much the main protagonist dislikes Tara and how mean of a person Tara actually is, and everything like that. And so, anyway, though, the plot kind of gets started when the main protagonist's dad brings in a cuckoo clock and sits it in the living room. So apparently, he's been wearing this cuckoo clock for years. Um, and it's always been sitting in this strange antique shop that will be important later on in the story. But pretty much, that's what's going on. And the main protagonist is just, you know, I'm not really sure. He's just uh, getting in trouble with Tara for the majority of this time, though. But he also wants, kind of wants to get revenge on Tara, obviously. And so he eventually sees Tara uh, messing around with the clock. And he also sees his dad walking in there. And basically telling her that she'll be in big trouble if he finds anything wrong with the clock. So this causes him, you know, to get want to get revenge on Tara after all the years she's been mean to him. So he basically wakes up late one night and turns the head of the cuckoo clock um, sideways. Um, I can't really remember if it was right or left or so. Um, but basically he turns the cuckoo clock. And basically this has some, for some weird reason, caused time to go backwards. It was said... A, uh, in the beginning of the story, at least the main protagonist's dad said that the cuckoo clock had some special power, but no one actually knew what it was. But basically, the main protagonist goes back in time and become, he becomes younger each and every day. And it's really weird because each of those days that he goes back in time is actually a day that he did not like, like his 12th birthday where he was really embarrassed with Tara. But he did try to fix it up a bit. You know, trying to make it so Tara wouldn't ruin it and everything like that. Um, like in the scene when he was getting the cake and he was walking back. But it was really weird because in that scene, Tara chose a different location to trip uh, the main protagonist. Which is kind of odd and um, is really strange. It will be very important to the theory later on. Basically, uh, his birthday is ruined anyway. And so basically he goes... Uh, keeps going on back in time to these days that were not too great for him, like another day where he was beat up that kid that I was talking about before. Just all this stuff that uh, he does not like. And another day when he was broke his leg. But basically, all this while he's figured out that 
the way you turn the uh, fix time and all that stuff is to turn the cuckoo clock back in the correct position. And so he keeps trying to break into the antique shop and basically turn back the head of the cuckoo clock, but never really succeeds in doing so until the end of the story when he's now a baby. And Terror the Terrible's not born yet now, uh, since he's that far back in time. And he's older than Terror and everything like that. So basically goes up and crawls to the cuckoo clock. And while he's trying to turn the head back, he accidentally knocks a tab from the clock. Because apparently on the cuckoo clock there, there's all these tabs with dates on there. And basically though, he turns back the cuckoo clock's head. And he reverses time back to the way, they are, way it is. And he's back in the normal time. He's not going to be erased from existence when he turns in, uh, when he becomes unborn and everything like that. And, but when he knocked out, though, that 1988 tab, which is apparently the year that Terror was born, he erased Terror the Terrible from existence. And so, pretty much, that's what happened. Apparently, in the story, and Terror the Terrible doesn't exist anymore. And in the end of the story, he did say that he wanted to, you know, uh, bring her back, maybe, since she was so mean to him. He's just thinking about it and possibly not bringing her back into existence. And so pretty much, that's how the end of the, that's how the book ends. And overall, again, I, I think I've said this before, it's a really great Goosebumps book. Probably my top 20 or top 15 Goosebumps books of all time. I really love The Cuckoo Clock of Doom. Really fun Goosebumps book. I really like Terror the Terrible as an antagonist since she's so different from everyone else. But anyway, I'm getting beside the point. And basically, I need to show you my evidence to prove that Terror the Terrible caused Michael Webster to go back in time, all of those, um, to go back in time and be tortured and all that stuff during the Cuckoo Clock of Doom. Because seemingly, there isn't that much evidence to prove it. It seems like the main protagonist turned the head of the Cuckoo Clock and made him go back in time. But I honestly think it's that can't be really correct. Because it's really strange how each day he goes back in time, it's a terrible day for him. Um, for example, the birthday day um, on his 12th birthday, which he considers to be one of the worst days of his life, I believe. And also um, when he was attacked, also the day he broke his leg. And every single one of these days he goes back in time to is a not too great day for him and so this would seem like something Tara would do. Tara obviously likes to torture her brother and um, she's really not that nice to him and doesn't really care about his health or anything like that while she's making him uh, feel terrible so it seems like something Tara terrible would do if she was able to do it. It would seem like she just caused main protagonist to go back in time and everything like that but uh, while that is a very small piece of evidence, there's actually more evidence than that. And that is the fact that she changed locations in the Cuckoo Clock of Doom during his 12th birthday when he experienced it for the second time. During this scene, from what I remember, main protagonist is getting the birthday cake. He remembers where Tara tripped him the last time, so avoids that. It's safely across from there. But then she trips him in a different location. And so this won't really make any sense how this could be the case. If this is a complete re repeat of him going back in time, then she would have chose the same exact spot where she was the last time. So it's really strange how she's able to be in one spot in one time and then be in a different spot the other time. It seems like, from what, in my personal opinion, that she is causing this to happen and is going back in time along with Michael Webster and possibly seeing him being tortured. Because, you know, as the dad said, there was a secret magic to the clock and it would seem like turning back the head would be the trick, you know, to making it go back in time. But maybe it is not and possibly something else. Because it really wouldn't make that much sense for... Um, her, him to just magically figure that out. After all, people have been trying to figure out this for hundreds of years, but maybe it was Tara. After all, she was seen messing around with the cuckoo clock multiple occasions before uh, uh, the main protagonist turned the head. So, and also it took 100 years for them to figure out how 
the match with the cuckoo clock, in which he had to turn back the head and all that stuff. So I'm not really sure if that is the correct magic of the go of the cuckoo clocks. And I think it's got something to do more with Terror the Terrible. Maybe the clock grants you a wish, and if you do the wish, then that would cause you to go back in time. Um, or, you know, not cause you to go back in time, but grant you your wish. And Terror the Terrible obviously would wish for something like her brother being tortured, which is what happens in the events of the Cuckoo Clock of Doom. I know that sounds like a stretch, but how else would she change her location in the events of the Cuckoo Clock of Doom? Also, I think there's more evidence than just that as well. Also, the fact that in the Goosebumps episode for the Cuckoo Clock of Doom, how the main protagonist seemingly has a nightmare or something when he's being chased by the clock. And, well, he's being chased by the clock. Instead of the Cuckoo Clock having the head of a cuckoo bird, it had the head of Terra the Terrible. I'm not really sure if that's in the story. I haven't read the Cuckoo Clock of Doom in a really long time or so so i'm not really sure if that's in the story but it's definitely in the episode which is also evidence for to show that she actually did cause the events of the cuckoo clock of doom to happen and also there's the fact that when the 1988 tab was knocked off only Terra the terrible disappeared i mean that doesn't really make much sense if he did knock off the 1988 tab and that just caused everyone in the world to disappear, then that wouldn't make much sense because of the fact that the world wouldn't be the same as usual if, and this world is the same as usual when the main protagonist goes back to the normal world, but just think about it. Every living being born or so in 1988 would be gone. That would mean plants, animals, um, people, and everything like that, and that would be really strange. First off, the whole crop thing with the uh, the plants disappearing would be a huge deal, I believe, if the whole 1988 thing would be true. And also, if just um, a whole year there was no people born, would also be really strange and possibly dramatically mix, miss, or mess up the world. But, as you see in the Cuckoo Clock of Doom book, in the end, the whole world is exactly as it used to be, or as it normally is, except Terra is gone. And so I would see this as more evidence to prove that she actually caused the events of the book um, to happen because she's the one who disappeared. She most likely experienced the same stuff that Michael experienced during the events of Cuckoo Clock of Doom, yet she um, possibly... Or she is 100% in the same situation as Michael, except I think she caused the events of the book to happen, mainly because of the, you know, of the reasons that it, for some weird reason, goes back during the times that the main protagonist was attacked. In the Cuckoo Clock of Doom episode, there was the cuckoo bird with Tara's face on it, which is even more evidence to prove it. And also, technically, in Goosebumps the game, you know, uh, there is a ghost in there. I wouldn't consider her antagonist, but she sort of is, that you can eliminate with the Cuckoo Clock of Doom thing, which is kind of like Terra, I guess, and stuff like that, but there's just so much evidence, and there's also evidence to disprove also the fact that the Cuckoo Clock of Doom is activated when you twist the bird. I know I didn't really give, give too much detail on that. I did say that the Cuckoo Clock granted you your wish. I think that's basically the thing you can do as long as it's with time. I don't think that when you twist the head backwards, it will just make you go back in time and go back in time. I don't think that's the magic with the cuckoo clock of doom. And I personally believe that um, it's, you know, you can make a wish on it, as I've said multiple times before. You can see evidence to disprove the whole fact that the cuckoo clock of doom can make the day uh, go backwards every single time. And that is in Goosebumps Night of Scares. In that story, or in that video game, actually, uh, Slappy uses the Cuckoo Clock of Doom basically to make the day repeat itself. And that doesn't really make much sense, how he would be able to do that if what the Cuckoo Clock of Doom does is it makes you go back in time over and over and over and over. Or not go back in time, but yeah, basically go back to a different day 
You become younger and younger and younger, younger and all that stuff. That's one thing I never really can make sense about the game. It's how Sloppy was able to make the day repeat itself over and over and over. I guess, technically, he sort of could do that with it. But it'd have to be uh, the next day. And from what you see in the Kugelkog of Doom, they don't really go back in time to the previous day. It goes back in time, like, first maybe a week or two weeks, and then it goes back maybe a year and stuff like that. So I highly doubt, personally, that uh, the Cuckoo Clock of Doom could have the power when you twist the head back and makes the day repeat itself over and over and over and over. And also, if this was true, it doesn't really make also much sense in Goosebumps and I'm scared that when Sloppy makes the day repeat itself over and over and over and over, uh, he starts becoming younger himself, which is also kind of strange. And so I would say as a whole, this means that this the Cuckoo Clock of Doom, due to it having different powers in Goosebumps 9 of Scares, um, basically meaning that it grants you your very wish because Sloppy would want the day to repeat itself over and over and over. Because keep in mind, even in, since uh, Goosebumps 9 of Scares is sort of canon to Horror Town, not Horror Town, uh, Goosebumps 2 Haunted Halloween, um, Sloppy won, I think, Halloween to last forever. From what I remember of the movie, I haven't seen the movie in a long time, but I think he wanted Halloween to last forever, and this would sort of make sense for him to want to use the cuckoo clock in Goosebumps Night of Scares to make the day where he attacks everyone, lives forever, and stuff like that happen over and over and over. And also, you can see varying um, powers with the cuckoo clock of doom and Goosebumps Night of Scares because main protagonist remembers what happens in the book, and also the levels change and stuff like that. So that would also mean, technically speaking, that um, uh, you remembered when you come back in time, and in the Ku Clock of Doom, only the person who set out the clock seemingly chose what to do. Also, Tara did, which I think makes me believe that she did it. So basically, I know I'm getting really in-depth into this and stuff like that, I'm just going to say it's in a very short synopsis. I think Tara, while she was examining the clock at one point in the story, found out the powers of the clock, caused the wish to happen with the clock, and basically she wanted uh, Michael to be tortured, and so basically he goes back in time every single time. It was a bad situation for Michael, and basically they went to the days where, you know, his leg was broken or stuff like that, and Tara was able to experience this, while watching it. And I know this kind of sounds wild, but as I said before, there is a bunch of evidence to prove that Terra the Terrible is responsible for what's going on in the Cuckoo Clock of Doom. Um, really sorry, though, that this video is getting super detailed. Sorry, 18 minutes long. I really want to shorten up the videos maybe to 13 or 14 minutes or so, but really sorry about that. But basically, uh, you can see just as a whole in the Goosebumps uh, in the Cuckoo Clock of Doom, mainly in the other Goosebumps games that feature the Cuckoo Clock of Doom, it uh, almost 100% means that Terror the Terrible most likely caused the events of the book to happen. And I think, though, that when you make the deal with the Cuckoo Clock or make the wish on the Cuckoo Clock, uh, something bad happens to you in return. Like, you know, sort of, uh, you make the wish and it turns out bad for you. And basically what I think happens is she was eradicated from existence when they went back in time so far uh, to the time when she was not born. Also the same thing with Sloppy in Night of Scares where um, he just turned back into a log, which is his original form during the Cuckoo Clock of Doom. But anyway guys, that's what I think about Goosebumps, or not Goosebumps, I'm so sorry guys, this is getting long and I'm kind of, you know... Uh, getting disoriented, I guess. I'm not really sure, but basically, I think that as a whole, Terror the Terrible caused the events of the Cuckoo Clock of Doom to happen. But tell me, you think in the comment section below, do you think Terror caused the events of the Cuckoo Clock of Doom to happen, or do you think uh, the Cuckoo Clock of Doom caused it with Michael, you know, turning back the head and everything like that? Tell me, what you think in the comment section below. But anyway, guys, that's the end of my video, and I hope you enjoyed.